So I was watching a TikTok video and I just heard the first sentence and just had to stop because I was like, okay, I, I, wow, <laughs> I, I, I've got to go back and watch the rest of it, but I just have to stop after sentence one. And it was a divorce lawyer and she was saying that the trend that she's seeing now and has been seeing for the last several years is women divorcing their partners who failed to launch and that these women started out at the same place with their partners many of them met in college and they were equally ambitious equally hardworking, equally um disciplined equally everything and then as the years progressed the woman continued to develop and the man stopped developing and I just stopped it right there, those three sentences or so. And it made me think about something that Prince Ella Clark said, and it made me think about my own life. Because one of the questions that I've had, and I've I've looked at my relationships from so many angles, read so many books, gone to therapy looked at my accountability on everything that I could possibly think of. But the question that I didn't have answered was this question. And, and, and of course, like I said, I hadn't, haven't watched the whole video and I don't, I doubt if she's got any answers to this, but what is it that makes so many men stop developing just arrest their development just stop progressing they just reach a certain point in their development and that's just as far as they go and they don't when they hit that difficulty point that challenge point they don't push through it now I was engaged three times, you know, with a ring and everything. I was asked four times, but three times with a ring. Got married to two of those guys. And all three of these men that I made it to this engagement with had this exact same issue. Now, I don't know what it is about me that attracts this, but it seems to be a pretty common trait in a lot of men because Princella Clark, like I said, I brought her name up a minute ago. I saw a video that she did where she was talking about that she felt that we couldn't call a lot of males men because being men was a choice. It was a choice to accept discipline and to mature from the lower nature to the higher nature. And she was saying, we actually couldn't even call them boys because boys are trainable. And she was quoting Jordan Peterson, who said that many of these men are disagreeable and that they won't even listen to the kind of advice, the kind of mentoring, the kind of um, training that would help them to develop into actual men. Because a lot of times it does take some sort of training. You know, as a person who's been to college, as a person who's been through initiation, as a person who's been um, a, a part of teams and clubs and organizations that have structures and you actually have to learn how to fit within the structure and work as a team... I know a little something about being trained. I know a little something about having to practice certain skills and disciplines and achieve a certain level of mastery to progress within this group. Um, I've never taken karate or any kind of martial arts, but I would imagine it's the same kind of thing when you have to progress through the belt system, you know, but as an artist, there's also that kind of discipline that you start as this very amateur, very 
uh, inexperienced person. And as you want to gain prowess, you have to put in the time. You have to put in the effort. You know, the book Outlier says, you know, it takes 10,000 hours of practice to become an expert in any discipline. So all of this is going with the same theme of there are people who physically grow. But when it comes to deciding to mentally and emotionally, psychologically grow, they opt out. They don't want to go through the mentoring or the reading or the discipline or the initiation or the process of development that it takes to go from amateur to expert or go from childlike to mature. They just want to stop at whatever point they've reached and sit there. And the thing about getting married to one of these people is I think that that leads to people growing apart when one person is committed to growth and has a growth mindset and the other person doesn't. And I think that sometimes it's very hard to see that when you're young It's very hard to see that when everything is changing so much, you meet a person in your 20s and you're just leaving home, you're just starting your life, you're taking on all these challenges. It seems like you both have the same kind of drive and ambition and um, mindset. It seems like everything is equal, but, but it's not always. Or you hit your 30s where you kind of started to get established. You know, you kind of like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing the adulthood thing. You know, I'm adulting. And you feel that first sense of accomplishment. Maybe you've bought your first house. Maybe you've, you know, had your first kid. Maybe you're really feeling like you're an official adult. And then bigger challenges come your way more difficult challenges come your way. So I think that I think that there is a road less traveled by as Robert Frost would say. I think that there's a fork in the road that people come to and they have to decide whether to grow or whether to opt out. And I think the thing about relationships is you don't know what that person is going to decide when they get to that fork in the road. And they can tell you that they're going to choose to grow. They can tell you, they can tell you, you know me, you know, 